Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, and today we're going to take a look at CCRP bombing and the Mirage 2000C. CCRP stands for Constantly Computed Release Point and is a method of dropping weapons on target. Uh, you may recognize CCRP from any other myriad of modules like uh, the AV-8B Harrier II as well as the Flaming Cliff series of jets, uh, the Su-27, the Su-25, and others. In the Mirage, due to limitations in the mission computer because this is not a thoroughbred ground pounder, you can only release slick Mark 82s in CCRP mode. So that is why we're going to go over it today so you guys can be ready for anything that's thrown at you in the new campaigns uh, coming out by Baltic Dragon. Uh, his Red Flag campaign is hopefully set to release shortly. So we're in an Emirati Mirage here and the United States Air Force has once again kindly loaned us their NTTR ranges to practice and hone our skills. And uh, I'll be giving you guys tips about the best way to complete these red flag missions that you'll be seeing in the new campaign coming up. And that the biggest tip is to make sure you get all of your switches in your cockpit set and ready to go before you enter the combat zone. And that will make you be able to fly with your eyes outside of the cockpit, looking around and scanning for threats or issues, as well as finding your target much easier rather than keeping your head down in the cockpit, flipping all your switches and doing what you need to do there. So first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and flip our master arm on, we'll set our bomb impact to instant, our bomb fusing to instant by a mistake, give it a couple feet of interval. We got six bombs on board so we'll release six all at once. We'll select our BL1s, which are our slick Mark 82s on board. We'll go ahead and put our radar into operate mode. We'll hit our radar altimeter as a second input to our mission computer, and we'll turn on our radar altimeter. All right, so we're ready to go here. Be careful about uh, pressing the trigger on your HOTAS, as you may accidentally release your weapons prematurely, which is not a good thing. You may endanger civilians on the ground, uh, friendlies on the ground, or it is just not a good habit to get into accidentally pressing that button. So we'll take it out of autopilot and we'll head off towards our target here. So our target is on the mock airfield on the western side of Dreamland. So we're going to be skirting the box here and we want to make sure that we stay out of any potential conflicts with any guys out there in the restricted area. Always something to be cognizant when flying through the NTTR. Getting too close to Dreamland can definitely get you in trouble. So as you see on our HUD, our symbology has changed, and see that uh, diamond with the dot in the center? That is your aiming reticle. So you're going to place that on your target, which is a string of MI-8 helicopters and trucks on the mock airfield over here. And when you slew that target right over where you want it, you'll press the magic slave slash air to ground designate button on your HOTAS and that will designate that spot for you. The range maintainers have started a fire for us, so that'll help us find our target. So we're gonna go ahead and roll in. Now bombs tend to fall a bit long, so I would recommend putting your designate point a little bit in front of your target. There we go. Now yeah, let's change it up. There we go. It should be noted this is not the most accurate form of bombing in the world in the Mirage. Back 
that came up a little fast on me. But what we want to do there is we want to hold down our trigger. And as that, so there's their helicopters on the ground. And as that bar flies up towards your diamond on the HUD, pull down the trigger and the bombs will automatically release as they should. And as you saw there, we got some really good hits. Which uh, definitely surprised me, so that is really awesome. And now we're a heck of a lot lighter. So thanks a lot guys for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more DCS World related content and adventures. Thanks a lot guys.